All right, hey guys, Mustaf here, and welcome to a mod pack review. Now this is gonna be a fun little video because depending on when you're watching this, if it's when this is freshly uploaded, we're starting a new uh, season of the server this week. We're not playing the Direwolf 20 mod, but instead we're going through this mod showcase of regrowth, and regrowth is what the new season will be on. So first off, we have this uh, quest book that you spawn in with. You click here to start after you read this. Eh, I guess I'll read it anyways. So, you've awoken from somewhere once more, but this time things seemed a little different. The world itself appears dead around you, a wasteland stretching off into the distance, dotted by the skeletons of trees accompanied only by gray boulders. Ever more curiously, the world itself seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of minerals underground, leaving you to wonder wh what to make of this world. As you look around, you wonder what it'll take you to survive here, and how you might help the world recover. So the basis of regrowth is kind of starting your own place. So, lives, you need to make sure, well, for us anyways, we are not enabling hardcore. Um, if you did, the hardcore quest book would tell you how many lives you had left, but we're just not doing that for the regrowth mod pack. So yeah, this is, it's technically called a hardcore quest book, but we're just going to be using it for the terms of quests and stuff like that. So as you go through here, you can click through and see all the stuff that you can do, and all and you can unlock a whole bunch of chapters and that's how you progress in the world and that's how you know you what you need to do so yeah the hardcore quest book and the lives are unable and secondly the main way you get things I wonder if I can find them is through magic crop seeds magical crops so all these seeds are how you get your resources uh, you can see glowstone, obsidian, iron, gold, pretty much seeds for anything that you need is here. Uh, you have souls and magical crops that will give you items and effects and just a whole bunch of stuff. And that's how you get resources and you plant stuff and do all that. Now. Normally, when you, when you start off in a world like this, you would just say, Oh, I just need to punch a tree. But when you punch a tree, something happens. You get sticks, and this... Excuse me. These dead wood planks. What the heck? Okay, I don't know what's happening in the chat, but I just kind of mined down the majority of this tree. Actually, I'm going to get this one too. I have no idea what it's doing. It doesn't make sense. Okay, so you can get sticks, deadwood planks, uh, wood ash, and some charcoal. By the way, I just gave gave me these so that I could uh, don't have to worry about food during this video. Okay, so go to your quest book and go to the first one. Open it up and go here. I have this. I need some more charcoal and some flint. So I'm gonna gather a couple trees from other places but this is how you get flint these slate blocks and it'll just give you a bit of flint and I'm gonna mine this whole boulder so we have plenty of flint to go through and then I'll quick run up and grab some more charcoal char charcoal can't speak today charcoal from the trees and then I'll go back to the book okay there we go I actually need to eat a steak and you go here and then you say oh I have everything so you claim your reward of a couple apples yeah, I'll keep anyways and then you go to the next thing so now we have all this so let's do the tool now there it's kinda like a tinkers construct kinda thing like you need to make bindings and heads of stuff so all all of these items are craftable in the inventory crafting grid. Oh, I think it's nighttime. So you just take a couple things and kind of play with it. 
And I think I need a tool rod or two. Need to double check. I need four tool rods and a wooden binding. Three, four, and a wooden binding. And then some flint stuff. Two flint axe heads. Wait, wait. So let's gather all this. Two flint axe heads. A pickaxe head. Oops. <laughs> I'm having di difficulties. And a shovel. Two shovels. And there we go. So now we can go back to our book. And now we go to the detection task. And we make all these items. And this this really is a lot like Tinker's Construct. And I like the basis where they were going with this. Wait. Hold on, I missed something. I just need one hatchet. And okay, I need one of everything. And then I take this and make of that and then wait that's not what it was supposed to happen okay that was a lot harder than I thought it was uh, I don't know what happened here I just kinda used everything oh there it is okay so now I've got the flint matic I'm just gonna throw that over there that too Okay, so we have the four basic tools, and I'll grab the sword blade. Oh wait, I need, I'll grab a handguard. And there we go. So, as you see here, we have collected two Mechanist things, and if you go back to here, you can see our reputation is going up in the world. And when we get to the, and when we get with Ice Bear in the server, we'll open the party and we'll be going like that. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to showcase in this video. And yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. I uh, really ready for the server on Wednesday, or depending on when you're watching this, is to just kind of depends. But yeah. If you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. And I will see you all later.